All that was left of the Russian border post were ruins, stray dogs, and abandoned customs declarations. The Russians fled hastily under pressure from advancing Ukrainian troops. As the New York Times reports, Ukrainian armored vehicles have breached the border unhindered, covering the flow of infantry. The largest foreign invasion of Russia since World War II continues. At the checkpoint, a Ukrainian soldier standing on the side of the road waved to the forces passing by. But a few days ago, the Russian chief of staff said the attack had been repelled. The border is littered with the debris of a lost battle. The remains of Russians, bullet casings and discarded body armor the move onto Russian soil was a significant moment for Ukraine in its war with Russia. During the first month of the war, Ukraine did strike back with a helicopter assault across the border and regularly bombed Russian oil refineries and airfields with drones. Two smaller previous incursions into Russia by groups of Russian exiles backed by the Ukrainian army ended in rapid retreat. But until last week, Ukrainian troops had not invaded Russia. The Ukrainian armed forces easily cut through the thinly defended border, advancing dozens of kilometers into Russia and changing the history of the war after a dismal year. Two dozen settlements have been captured. I'm happy to ride a tank into Russia, and it's better than them riding tanks into our country, said one Ukrainian soldier. Not all the equipment survived. Journalists saw flatbed trucks hauling damaged Max Pros into Ukraine. On either side, Several houses have been destroyed by Russian airstrikes, indicating brutal air attacks. Where the road ran across high, open plains, plumes of smoke rose from all directions. There are many risks for Ukraine. The offensive is intended to force Russia to divert troops from the fierce fighting in eastern Donbass, which has not happened so far, and to gain leverage in peace talks, although none are planned. The question remains whether Ukraine can hold Russian soil long enough to achieve these strategic goals, the publication writes. Russian military bloggers claim that Kadyrov's men from the Akhmat unit betrayed Russia and stabbed the Russians in the back, specifically avoiding clashes with the Ukrainian armed forces during the attack on the Kursk region. The Z channel of the former mercenary of the PMC, Wagner, Alex Parker returns, received information according to which the Kadyrovites knew perfectly well about the offensive of the Ukrainian army and deliberately let them through, having secretly concluded a mutual non-aggression pact, communicating through the intermediary Kusein Zambetov, who fought for the armed forces of Ukraine but later returned to Chechnya. Kadyrov's men understood the balance of power and did not want to lose their fighters by simply allowing the Ukrainian armed forces to penetrate deep into Russia. The puzzle has come together, writes a Russian military propagandist accusing Kadyrov of betraying Russia. Over the past few days, Russian media have been actively accusing Kadyrovites units of fleeing the border. They did not engage in combat, but simply abandoned their positions. Earlier, Z war correspondent Kotenok told the truth about the battles of Kadyrov's TikTokers against the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region. Kotenok confirmed on his social network page that the Kadyrovites did not take part in the battles but fled shamefully. He also writes that the breakthrough was made from three directions. At present, the Ukrainian armed forces successfully advanced further in the Kursk region, this time towards the Belovsky district of this region. The media reported fighting to the south of the Sudza district. On this wave, there were also reports of fighting in the Krasnoyarsk district. At the moment, they have not been confirmed. Such tactics would be logical for the Ukrainian troops, bypassing the problematic area where the greatest attention is concentrated, entering through forest belts and tracts into a non-media area with the same characteristic problems as in the Sudza and Korenev districts, one of the pro-Russian government Z channels Rybar reports. It is also noted that in favor of such tactics on the part of the Ukrainian armed forces, this would force them to pull back some of the efforts of the fire brigades from Sudza and Korenevo.